This is Emily Rubin, dietitian from Jefferson, presenting you with your nutrition tip of the week. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected every aspect of our lives, especially when it comes to grocery shopping accessibility and our everyday meals. When ordering groceries online or shopping in stores, a lot of times we can't find some of our favorite foods. So breakfast, lunch, and dinner can be a struggle. And we add a combination of stress and boredom that we face every day. Our diets can just become disastrous. So what can we do to plan ahead? Here are some quick, easy options that are cost-effective, healthy, balanced, gluten-free and lactose-free options for some of our people with special needs, and also helps to maximize nutrients with less food waste. First of all, you can buy fruits and vegetables, either fresh and frozen, and you can add them to soups, stews, smoothies, especially before they go bad. If you have lots of chicken or meat, again, you could, when it's accessible, you could freeze it. You can make large batches of meatballs made from lean chicken or meat and freeze even half of them. And then leftovers can also be turned into pasta salads or pasta side dishes. With eggs, you can make a whole bunch of different kinds of foods, such as a frittata with fresh frozen veggies. Um, hard-boiled eggs are a great great way to pack protein pack lunch. Or you can even make an egg salad with low-fat mayonnaise or low-fat salad dressing. In terms of milk, if you're lactose intolerant, lactose-free milk actually has a much longer shelf life than regular milk. Also, there's so many different kinds of plant-based milks out there. So there's soy milk, there's pea milk, there's almond milk, coconut milk, and all of them can be made or added to smoothies and even made with oatmeal. You can also buy some hard cheese like cheddar parmesan. They're both naturally lactose-free and they can be eaten with a salad or eaten as a snack with our fruit. Greek yogurt can be made into a parfait. We could add nuts to it. We could add low-fat granola. It lasts, you know, two to three weeks as well. Canned beans are a great source of protein and fiber, and you can definitely buy the canned ones. And you can make chili. You can do soups. You can add. You can roast them in an air fryer or in an oven, or even add to salads. If you're looking for some other meatless combinations, there's tofu or a lot of the meatless crumbles that are high in protein. They're usually frozen, and they can be added to tacos, stews. You can make into chili and it tastes just like the real, real item. So another great option is the plant-based pastas such as chickpea, lentil, pea pasta. It's extremely high protein, high fiber, gluten-free, and a great alternative to regular pasta. So we're wrapping up the nutrition tips of the week. This is Emily Rubin, dietitian with Jefferson. For more information, you can log on to yourradiodoctor.com. 